Hello, Facebook, YouTube. The day of uh, Gabriel, the archangel, the one that is um, God is our strength. Nope, not man. I, he's a false God. Quick acknowledging false gods on God's days. All right. Well, topic of my message. Well, we endured the uh, our, our, our Irma. I mean, she was a beast. I mean, I ain't going to sit up here and lie to you and a lot of people in Brainton, I'm not going to lie to you, she was the bees, as you saw, uh, Weather Channel and all those hurricane analysts. They did a good job. I mean, I got to salute them. They did a great job of the information that they gave us. You know, I don't really give men no cr good credit, but they did a good job in letting us know how strong this uh, hurricane is. But the topic of my message is... You know, it's the reality of to endure because you are sure. You know what I'm saying? Endure because you are sure. Now, my 3H Nation message is talking about, you know, those that dwell in the secret place of the shadow of the Almighty. You know what I'm saying? You know, uh, I mean, it's this... You know, I, I I was sleeping, of course, sleeping, waking up, talking to my brother, talking to my niece, uh, and then waking up and then sleeping. And but guess what? You had I had to hear that wind. I had to hear that wind. I had to hear the force of the power of that wind of Irma and that those wind and that force and the power will, you know, leave doubt in your like whoa is, is is a tree gonna fall down is it you know anything's possible in in you yielding your mindset to the ideal of fear it's anything possible you can think of of bad things can happen concerning the position that that you in and what was going on there i mean irma was wow was intense, aggressive. I mean, she just kept, you know, roaring her wind, her wind beside me, you know, near this uh, window right here. Yeah, this window right here. Uh, yeah, I, Irma was just letting me know her presence known. But it was, it was the security of knowing who my God was, you know what I'm saying? That I knew spiritually, not naturally but i knew spiritually that it was a sure thing it was a sure thing that i will endure through whatever i'm going through you know what i'm saying and it's like you know uh the only time i really woke up is i was kind of hungry you know what i'm saying so i ate some tater chips and when i ate those tater chips i went back to sleep <laughs> and it was just you know i kind of like woke up when you know it was just about a, I mean, well, when I it's clearly see that Irma was gone, you know what I'm saying? And I went outside, I did a video and went outside and stuff like that. But I, sh I knew within inside my spirit that it was a sure thing that, you know, Irma, no trees are not going to fall down, nothing, not gonna, bad thing is not going to happen. But man, I wish you heard Irma and her winds and her velocity of her force winds will could have made me think different you know what i'm saying and you know i was like you know uh and when i heard it it was like god you're bigger than this you know what i'm saying uh and you're greater than this even though how great her winds were even though the velocity that i heard her roaring you know, my my brother uh, woke up, and he went outside, and and I we we're like, dude, what's going on? He went outside, and you know, and yeah, Irma was still blowing, rushing, and and he went out there and saw something and said, oh, that's what that was, you know, and I'm like, okay, <laughs> on your own time, but man, Irma was on serious beast mode, but. Was I was so sure of we were going to uh, get through it, you know, concerning really the God I serve. I mean, the God, 
that was instilled in me spiritually that I was going to make it. And of course, I had to cut some jokes. You know, so y'all see my jokes. I had nothing else to do. So I had to cut some jokes. Um, but, you know, my God's mighty. You know what I'm saying? See, I know the almighty. I'm one with the almighty. And one thing I love about reading um, Job, Job uh, books, Job refers to God as the almighty. See what I'm saying? And, you know, the thing is, is we need to uh, understand within our spirit. But those that truly serve God will will recognize him as the almighty. It's one thing, like I said, it's one thing to hear that a person says the almighty God. And, and, and you're like, huh? The almighty God. But it's another thing when you have a developed through service, through through, through prayer, through, through a true relationship with God and really, you know, uh, spending time with him and you develop Christ in you, then to hear the word almighty God, you know? And the thing is, I was like, I was so comfortable. I was so sure, even though those winds were just blowing ridiculously massive and powerful force, storm surge was ridiculous any great person from brain now around this whole west coast of Bradenton can tell will tell you those winds did not play the radio walkman stereo in the natural but i spiritually knew the almighty and the almighty and i was sure that god was mightier than those winds i was sure in my spirit he was mightier than those winds there was no room for, there was no fear. I just did not have no fear, you know, even though it, it I mean, it, it was like, like I said on the other video, it was like, <laughs> and then it lighten up and it like, and then all of a sudden, <laughs> And then it was like that, you know, and it was just that kind of serious situation, you know, and it was like unbelievable. I mean, in the natural, if you heard it in the natural, but in the spirit, I was sure, I was sure that my God was mightier than that uh, storm surge, mightier than that wind, because I spiritually, I developed a true relationship spiritually. And that's what we must understand about, you know, how we develop that refuge within him. You know what I'm saying? That refuge that I knew about. And the thing is, it was I was so rested and comfortable in that refuge. And as you saw outside, you know, we were surrounded by trees. We were surrounded by trees in, in this area. And those trees did not, you know fall down you know what i'm saying and that could have been very catastrophic but when you trust in the lord you know and you trust in a mighty god you know you just know that sure the sureness that you're going to make it through this situation and just give him all the praise you know for the things that he have done and what he will did through this uh a hurricane it was just unbelievable and I know everybody, a lot of people that throughout the West Coast of Florida has a lot of testimonies to show concerning the magnitude, the power of winds of Irma and how, you know, they just knew God protected them. They just knew it. It was, I guarantee people from this whole, you know, West Coast and a prophet South, they knew God was with them and he never leave them or forsake them. But I can only speak for our experience that, you know, we was we had some big trees back there and boy Irma winds was strong enough to pull those big trees. You know what I'm saying? But we were well I mean, I think we were very prepared for it. The only downside to this situation is power outage. But I heard that certain people in Brayton got their still got their power. But that's a blessing. But man, it's just a great blessing guarantee we had some we're gonna find out how many deaths we got but i don't think we're gonna have a lot in bradenton or sarah so, well maybe sarah i don't know about bradenton
because we got the we got the weaker part, but man, Irma was strong, y'all. Wow, she was strong. Um, but I was sure about the that the, no matter how mighty Irma was, I knew mighty how my God was, and I went to sleep and rest on the mighty God like Jesus Christ did in that boat, and God came through, and I'm just want to just let people know uh, that God came through to the utmost way. Um, that you know, God came through, the mighty God came through, uh, definitely and protect and secured and did what his word of God says to do. It's not about Mac Johnson, it's what God did, and I give him all the glory and all the praise for it. All right, that's the message. I hope you got it, and I hope it you, you know, you understand that that you develop a relationship that you're so sure you're 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 sure that you're secure you know in him and nothing and nobody can ever touch you and that's a message god be the glory come from another in jesus name amen